I want to make this video to go to take you through a guy that's having this issue that his brand new turbo has been leaking oil. It's been about a year and a half since I've been communicating with this person. The background in it, on this story is that this guy bought a brand new turbo from Precision and then it was blowing oil so he sent it back to Precision twice and they rebuilt it twice and charged them for that. And then he also sent it to us and we rebuilt it two times in addition to that. So the idea is your brand new turbo is leaking oil and by this time this guy is trying to say that the turbo still has an issue but what I'm trying to explain to him is why the turbo is not the issue and I'm going to pinpoint in this video of what the problem is. This is a FRS so let's see is that Subaru or is it the Scion? One's a BRZ and one's an FRS. This is his engine bay. This is his turbo here at the bottom. If you look closely, the turbo is angled at, at a slant like this. So what I'm trying to explain to him is that his exhaust manifold is made incorrectly. This is almost the same turbo that he has, besides that it's a custom one that we made. So the way his turbo is sitting on his vehicle is like this right here at that angle. The problem with that is the oil can't escape right here so it's getting puddled up behind or puddled up in this back corner here and then once oil starts to flow in it it easily builds up in volume and is forced out the back side of it. The things to check when you have an issue like this is you want to have the turbo straight. Usually people don't have this problem, but for some reason this guy's exhaust manifold is made incorrectly. Now, if it's straight, straight this way, you also don't want it tilted 15 degrees this way or 15 degrees this way. To look at it this way, we're talking 15 degrees like that or 15 degrees like that. It's the same concept as before, which is what his issue is. Now I wanted to go over additional things that could be the issue in case this is not your problem. So I'm going to read the email from where he wrote me and everything that I told him to check. The number one thing to check is if you have one of these 10 a.m. drains, I usually tell people to get rid of those. I don't like to use them. I just think that the bar fitting is so much better. Mainly because these fittings, when they come to you, most of them, are called 10 an but the people that made them made them with a 10 millimeter inside diameter the largest drain that I'm aware of from factory is 20 millimeter inside diameter that's on whole sets the smallest that I'm aware of is about 13 and a half that's usually on ball bearing turbos or on a TDO4 turbo another thing to check is if you do have this style fitting most people have it come off straight, but people that usually have problems with them will come off as a 90 to try to avoid something, or even a 45. When you have a, a combination of this strain and an angle like that, usually you start to have problems too. Another issue I have with two other people is that they mount their turbo like this. This is upside down. This is the drain and this is the feed so the turbo goes like this if you're plumbing the bottom of it with oil the top side doesn't have enough area to drain out of that you're trying to drain it out of a pinhole so that's why this will plumb up with oil you'll have so much pressure inside the cartridge it's forced out the seals because it has nowhere else to go so this is the 48th email that we have interchanged between each other to try and fix this guy's issue. So I'll read you this email and I made it as descriptive as possible so that hopefully he can fix this issue. I said, it's leaking out the turbo. I explained this so many times. Let me explain this one last time. After this last time, if you want to know the answer to the same question, 
you can reread this email. When a new or rebuilt turbocharger is leaking oil, the most common issue is the oil drain being too small. Often the 10 AN fittings are 10 millimeter inside diameter. The measurement needs to be at least 15. Some drains are 14 millimeter on the inside diameter. Some turbos also have a 20 millimeter inside diameter drain. The angle that the turbo sits is also important. The angle should not be more than 15 degrees in either direction. If your crankcase ventilation has a one-way valve that is bad, the boost will pressurize into the crankcase which forces the oil to go everywhere. It will even back up the oil up the drain and out the turbo. This doesn't seem to be his problem, but it also is another common issue. Another issue can be if you have a broken piston ring or broken piston. This will cause air pressure from the com compression to enter the crankcase, which can cause the oil to leak out the turbo. The same effect as a bad one-way valve with the crankcase ventilation known as the PCV. Based on the pictures, it looks like you don't have an issue with a broken piston ring because oil is not coming out of the cylinders. We've already determined the oil is coming out of the turbo on the exhaust side. Based on the pictures, it looks like you, your turbo angle may be too far upward to where the oil cannot drain easy enough out the cartridge. This causes the oil to get backed up into the cartridge to where it cannot escape fast enough. Another issue can be if you have overfilled the crankcase with oil to the point where the oil level is in the turbocharger. When this happens, the oil can leak out of the seals because the oil has nowhere else to go. Once more oil volume and pressure are added, then the oil leaks out the seals because the oil is forced to go somewhere and out the seals is the path of re least resistance. One more thing to check with the oil drain is to make sure that you didn't accidentally add too much silicone maker if you use that. And if you did did make did make sure that you didn't add so much that it squeezed inside of the drain, which will block the oil flow leaking which will block the oil flow that comes out of the turbo, which Mainly what that does is it restricts the oil trying to go out the drain and it backs up to the point where it just builds pressure in the cartridge again and gets forced out the turbo, out the seals. This is what you have to figure out is, is your drain 15 millimeter inside diameter or at least 14, yes or no? Do you have a silicone gasket maker caving or silicone gasket maker caving in the drain yes or no do you have to too steep of an angle of the turbo the correct angle should have been chosen when the exhaust manifold was was created to me it looks steeper than it should be I wouldn't know if it would work like that because turbos aren't usually mounted at that angle the only way to rule this one out is to check all the other possible causes and rule them out first. Do you have a line from your charge pipe connecting to your crankcase ventilation, pressurizing the crankcase and forcing oil to go up the drain? Mainly what I'm talking about there is where it's the same effect if you had a bad one-way valve to try and vent the crankcase. So if you don't have that one-way valve, some vehicles, I guess in a way, kind of don't, I don't know. Everyone, every vehicle is set up different. So if you have the turbo forcing air into the crankcase, it pressurizes the whole crankcase and just Put, pushes the oil everywhere. It'll usually come out more than seals adjust the turbo seals. Based on the pictures, I would inspect the drain first. Make sure it's free flowing with no sharp bends. If that isn't it, 
check to see if you have pressure coming out of the oil fill cap. If there is no pressure coming out of the cap and your turbo is mounted, then the angle that your turbo is mounted needs to be corrected. Mainly what I'm talking about here is if you think that you may have a broken piston ring, the way, best way to check that or easiest way would be to open up your oil fill and then if you have pressure pushing out like a ridiculous amount, usually that means that there's pressure coming from the pistons where they're trying to compress but you have like a broken piston ring or ring land so that air pressure is just going back down into the crankcase. This most likely isn't his problem because this vehicle only has about 17,000 miles on it. I think that they may have messed with the engine before, but I really can't remember. But if they have, one thing that you need to be aware of is if they altered or put new pistons in and they didn't do something correctly, like didn't install some of the rings or didn't gap them correctly, or they didn't uh, have the, you have gaps Two, the two compression rings, the gap on one ring, the bottom ring, and the top ring are supposed to be 180 degrees apart. So you have one gap here and one gap here. This, the idea for that is to have the most compression and seal, so it's sealed properly too. Last I put, think to yourself, when did this problem start? And what did you do wrong or what did someone do wrong to cause this turbo to leak oil? Mainly what's going on here is they turbocharged a non-turbo car, spent a lot of time, a lot of money in it, and whoever built this vehicle probably has never done this before because if they had, they would have done everything correctly and corrected this issue before this vehicle even leaves. Based on this, I feel like whoever worked on this car probably put this whole thing together, maybe bought a kit, put this whole thing together, and it had issues, and they're like, well, I was just here just to install parts. I'm just a mechanic. That's the way these people act. You don't have people, or generally you don't have good shops that work on this stuff on a daily basis. And what's happening here is somebody has a modified vehicle that 99% of the mechanics out there, all they do is buy parts and replace parts. So when they see something like this, they're confused on what they need to work on. Uh, so the next thing that he was talking to me about is, well, maybe I should have the valve seals changed. Somebody, he sent me a quote or something from somebody that said, yeah, it's your valve seals. Uh, that will be $1,700 and we can fix that. And I told him, well look, take your turbo off and do you have oil coming out of the outlet pipe before the turbo? And there's no oil coming from the engine side of the exhaust pipes. There's plenty of oil all over the turbine housing where you can tell it's clearly coming out of the exhaust side of the turbo. That's all the information I have for this video. 48 total emails between me and him. I don't know at what point Precision quit talking to this guy, but I imagine that they didn't want to communicate with him for a whole long, lot of time just because they are like me. I can't help you fix your problems. I can help you pinpoint your problems, and it's going to cost me a lot of my time, but that's why I have videos like this. It's so that I could get it out to the majority of the people without having to talk to each individual person one time and then do that my entire life to the point where it drives me insane. Thanks for watching. I will make another video on similar topics to help you guys out when you have similar problems just like this.